After Jesus was baptized and received the Holy Spirit, he was led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil, who had corrupted mankind by tempting Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve lived in a prosperous environment that God had provided for them, but they fell into temptation by the devil and did not trust God. As a result, they failed to fulfill their duty as humans to live by following the Word of God. In contrast, Jesus was tempted by the devil under harsh circumstances, where people could hardly survive, and at a time when his flesh was at its weakest. The devil persisted in bothering Jesus while he fasted, and after 40 days and 40 nights of fasting, when Jesus was extremely weak, the devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. The devil persistently tempted Jesus, urging him, Doubt that God provides for your needs. Do not concern about God's circumstances, but focus on your own. You are suffering because God does not provide for your needs, so use your divine power to solve this problem yourself. The devil's purpose in tempting Jesus was not to satisfy his hunger, but to alienate him from God. By urging Jesus to doubt that God would take responsibility, the devil aimed to deceive him so that Jesus would abandon his absolute faithfulness and obedient faith. Jesus said, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. This word is a quote from Deuteronomy. So he humbled you, allowed you to hunger, and fed you with manna which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, so that he might make you know that man shall not live by bread alone, but man lives by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. This is true. God allowed the Israelites to endure a harsh life in the wilderness so that they would come to know that their entire lives, including life and death, blessings and curses, were in God's hands and to follow His will through this experience. Human beings are created to rely on God and obey His words. This is the truth that the Lord has commanded us to follow, and He wants to see how we respond to it. This can be seen as some kind of test. A temptation led by the devil aims to deceive people and make them abandon their faith, whereas a test led by God seeks to confirm our truthful heart we have. In this regard, God, who permitted Israelites to endure a harsh life in wilderness, said, And you shall remember that the Lord your God led you all the way these forty years in the wilderness to humble you and test you, to know what was in your heart, whether you would keep His commandments or not. Outwardly, our lives can feel uncomfortable and uncertain, and it is like walking in the fog. Despite this, we should not lose our faith and obedience towards God. When we do not abandon our trust in the Lord, but seek His will, He will provide everything that we truly need. Therefore, let us not claim only what we want to receive, as if we gained nothing. Instead, let us fulfill our responsibility that comes with what we have been given. Let us not try to find a way to live on our own while doubting that God cares for us. Instead, let us follow Jesus, who showed us a model as a representative of humanity. Jesus lived according to God's ways from beginning to the end, and he always kept God's pride and ultimately succeeded. 
let us also keep his pride in any circumstances. Thank you.